M0FXB. On the left, we've got the Radto RT880 with the latest firmware 1.16, and I'll show you how to load that. On the right, we've got the Radto RT950 with the latest firmware. So I've just done a transmission, and it went sort of back because it replied. So just watch what happens. We'll do it again. I'm going to press the top button. APRS beacon and then it picks it up here. The only thing I'm seeing on the Radtail 950 model is that the, the, the beacon pop-ups really quick and then I can't see the history of the beacon pop-ups. So if we back out here and um, normal frequency in the UK 144-800 FM simplex. If I go menu and let's have a look at our APRS settings. So you go down to extended select and then GPS doesn't well at the moment although it's on we're not actually using it we're using a fixed a fixed GPS so we're going to APRS number two and then select you turn it on back and I'm just going to show you everything look station mode is fixed the reason I've, I've done that is because if you haven't got a GPS lock it won't transmit so I just put it on fixed for now Although we actually have got a GPS lock. Beacon setup, select. So number one is the call sign. Press OK. Don't use the back button because it deletes. Press the green OK. SSID. Press OK. Uh, symbol. I, I haven't changed that, to be honest. I haven't changed any comment. I did add that. Hamtech M0FXB. I didn't change mic E mode or on off path wide one at the moment. And you get you can change these with the software. I haven't changed the counts TX voltage mileage. And then we're back to call sign look so. Let's just back out now. Uh, let's go just quickly check menu extended again. Look at beacon settings. APRS, then beacon setup. I think it's the same. I'm just making sure, really. Beacon mode. All areas, that's what I've put. Okay. And then once I, because the APRS is on, once I back out, you've got the frequency. Now, I haven't got the external antenna on it. If I put it on, this is the first antenna, it might just start picking up um, the other APRS. I'll show you that in a sec. Let's just do one more transmission. <clears throat> you saw that. And if you scroll down the info, you'll see it actually says M0FXB Ham Tech. So I would say that's working. And then on this one, just transmitted, look, and it's picked it up. So it's picking it up both ways. So they're both working, the 950, and I've got the Pro, the 880 or the UV98, if you run the right firmware. Back out, let's put my external antenna on. There you are, as soon as I connected it, we started getting, there's a beacon there. Where did it come from? Okay, this is all it's decoding. Let's wait for some more. Okay, that one there. It's got the position, but it's all a bit gobbledygook what it's receiving. Let's put it onto the rad towel, although the pop-up's really quick. So we did get one then. I actually picked it up on my rubber duck. So the pop-up's so fast. And when you go into the menu to look at pop-ups, menu, APRS, beacon. Station symbols, custom icons. I don't see pop-ups. See what I mean? You want to see the pop-up. Let's go to advance. Receive pop-up is on. You do see them and you can clear the pop-ups. But you can't... Well, we'll just wait for one to come through, but it's so fast. So 
Some air bound there. Sounding good. Yeah, not receiving much, but see how fast that pop up is. Right, let's go over to the software just to show you settings. So, what the software to download the firmware? Just go here to RT880. Remember, your serial number is important to download the right one. Mine's the later serial number. So, you just click download here. If you get the virus error like I did, all you do is just go here, security, like so, and you'll see there that I just got a pop up there from on the on the 950 Windows security. I know this is annoying that you have to do this, but uh, select it in your little search box at the bottom, then go down to virus threat protection, down to manage, and you have to briefly turn real time off. You can turn it back on straight away. Um, uh, and then now when you hit the download, it will let you download that file. So let's just do it and it's downloaded it now. And we've got the firmware showing there. And then just double click, get your radio into firmware mode. Select your COM port, I've already done mine. And click update, of course, connect the cable. Um, firmware mode is turn off the radio hold down the PTT and turn on, on, on the 880 that is. And of course the 950 firmware's on here as well, same process really, the 950. But to get it into firmware mode, you uh, hold the bottom two black buttons. Uh, now look at the CPS from the 880, which is just here. I'll just show you my extended settings. So click extend and it's all here really. You got APRS on. That's air manual here and there nicely. Sounds really good on both these devices. APRS on, call sign, SSID. I think that's the crucial stuff. The pop-ups is on, uh, beacon storage on. I'm pretty sure that the Radtel does store the, the beacons. Um, I'm not going to look now. I might have just a quick look, uh, but I can't find it. Let's back out, menu, just see if I can find it. Zone, FM, time, extended, basic. I would say if we were going to see it, it would be an extended. APRS. APRS receive channel, TX channel. Yeah, we know what that is. That's when you transmit data upload. Beacon pop-up, beacon priority, PTD delay, beacon save, all, how do you view? Ah, beacon list. Ah, look at that, it's just not even eligible. But we need a beacon list that we can read on both radios, thanks Brad Tell. Um, um, so yeah, press pause, copy my settings you've got here wide one and then you've got path count one underneath path two wide one path count two this is what i've got and this is uh software version 1.10 if we look at the software on the 880 cps the newest one is 1.10 the newest firmwares are 1.16 a for these serial numbers for the newest serial number is 1.16 there's no a and that's it so all i can say is give it a go let me just turn on my cps for my 950 so on the 950 and it uses one of those alance h h d1 cables that screw in the side which is annoying in one way but it's good because you can still hear the radio uh and so if we go to the aprs info and look here, similar settings, APRS on, I've got GPS on there, wide one, wide two here, APRS forward channel, I've got A and B, um, wide one, two here again as well. I mean, APRS, is, there's a learning curve to it, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not an expert on APRS. Um, I've got my Yesu FT 5D, which makes it all seem very easy. So yeah, if you're into APRS, all this will be excellent. 
I feel like the 950 is working well in decoding the info. The information that's coming on the screen is seems fuller. I still feel like they've got more work to do. You see the little pop up there. It's reading it from the other radio, but the pop ups that I'm getting from outside, you know, from the uh, DigiPeters transmitting um, uh, doesn't seem full and correct. Airband works great on both of them. And the question I get asked all the time is if I've got the 880, should I get the 950? And you know they they do both do a very similar thing that's the thing you got to remember they both they're both doing a very similar job um but the radtel 950 is a far superior feeling radio when you use it you feel like it's the biz and being that there's a see look at that information there that pop up which is staying on a bit longer now that's good isn't it that wasn't staying there long before so um the it's a, it's a, it feels superior. The price, there's not much difference in the price, like a £10. So if someone said, you have to get one, which one would you get? I, I definitely would say the 950 Pro model, because with the Pro model, you get the CB transmit. And yes, you can do the whole, um, uh, they call it full band mode, where you turn it off, hold the down arrow and turn on. And yeah, look at that boot up screen and it goes into sort of full band mode and you can mix and match the frequencies. And yes, it actually works really well as an FM CB, not AM. It will never transmit these devices and the amount of people that ask the question, hundreds and hundreds of people, will it transmit on upper sideband, lower sideband and AM? No, they never, ever will. They never, ever will. Stop asking, please. Um, but. They are shack in the box radios. They receive all the HF bands, broadcast radio, VHF, UHF. CB is working well on the 950. 65 quid, 65 pounds to do all that. Come on. Uh, that's, it's literally amazing. Fantastic. Bye for now.